Hello, Essex Junction, and welcome to um, the Essex Junction Trustees, Vice President Raj Chalwat. Thank you so much for being here for another independent moment. Sure, happy to be here. Exciting day. Yeah, it's a big day. And so can you tell us why, why and what is big about today? And, and there's been a lot of joy here in Essex Junction this morning. Well, we have um, H-491, which is how the bill is referred to in the legislature, which is the proposed charter for the new city of Essex Junction. Um, that cleared its second and final committee in the Vermont House today unanimously, um, which is fantastic. Um, and the next step would be a vote from the full House of Representatives. We're hoping this week, um, we'll learn more later. And after that, it will go to the Senate for consideration in their government operations committee. Um, we hope that's the only committee it visits in the Senate. And if that's the case, then it would, and it passes that committee, it would go to the Senate for a full vote. If it passes the Senate, it would go to the governor for signature. And on July 1st, we would become a city. Unreal. So we so are a little short of halfway there and it's looking good. And we're optimistic because of the response from both house committees. Um, and the unanimous votes. Uh, I really like, uh, th thank you for how succinctly you've uh, presented um, where we're at and where we're going. And I think what both you and I uh, connected about today was there was a moment uh, right after the unanimous vote um, yeah. that, that we both connected with and, and together we've decided to, to queue up this video. Uh, thanks so much Raj for sharing this, this moment which occurred right after the uh, unanimous vote at the House Committee on Ways and Means today, February 16th, 2022. Yes. Repeat votes yes. Representative Elder. Yes. Representative Maslin. Yeah. Representative Matos. Yes. Representative Odie. Yes. Representative Till. Yes. Representative Kornheiser. Yes. Chair Ansel. Yes. 1100. Zero, zero. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, just I didn't say it because we didn't have any discussion, but the, these your town officials have gone through <clears throat> so much work to get to this place, and it's actually good to be able to move something along. So uh, <laughs> it, just in recognition of how hard this is. It's been, <clears throat> many hands have been involved. Exactly. Appreciate putting yours in as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, um, but thank you. Yeah, I think I think uh, who you heard speaking um, at first was the Ways and Means Chair Janet Ansel, um, and uh, on the bottom screen, who responded was our representative Karen Dolan, who was in the committee today representing the village. Uh, and what I heard uh, Chair Ansel speak to was the amount of work and effort done by our by our um, uh, officials, and we're we're so grateful to all of you because I know how much work you all put in to stay really on task. And it, you've just all been that way through all of this and you've been a great team and you've collaborated together and with staff and with the select board and it just all of that has been such obviously great work that Chair Ansel also recognizes it. Yeah, and I think, you know, sure, uh, this, this current board put a lot of time and effort into it. Um, but, you know, foundations for this, I think this was alluded to by, by Lori and Karen the last time you did one of these, the foundations for this um, were laid, you know, over many, many years. Um, we, we're just kind of taking it over the finish line or trying to. And I think, um, you know, our staff has been unbelievably great and supportive. Um, their energy um, has, really, um, has really helped on this. Um, and, and we, have a, we have an amazing legislative team in the state house right now, Lori and Karen. And really, you know, the select board too needs a little credit on this. Um, they've, they've been working with us throughout this last uh, iteration of our, our path forward. And um, it's been difficult um, and I'm sure it's difficult for them. So I just wanted to reach out and, you know, Chair Ansel, I think referred to town officials. I think she was talking about village officials, but, but really this has been a collaboration with the town. And, um, and that's in some ways probably harder for them. So I just want to put a plug in for, for their willingness to be at the table with us and, um, 
and to work in good faith. So, and um, and to be part of those hands that um, that Chair Ansel spoke spoke of, right? So so it's everyone that's done the work that all the people that you and Lori are alluding to, all the past, every everyone right. that's ever brought us any step forward towards anything we tried to do to grow and and the hands of the village officials hands of town officials and then karen i really loved how graciously uh, representative dolan karen dolan thanked chair ansel and and that house committee for their hands too right so it's it's all the things that move us forward always yeah i i completely agree and it, it's such a good um it's such a good feeling um, to have that work recognized, um, especially with the unanimous vote um, and a comment after to, to be able to have the community see that what they asked for, what they've been working for, because so many people have been pushing this through. Um, and let's be honest, it wasn't the first intention, right? Um, you know, right. we intended to be, to be a merged community. Right. Um, but I think what you're alluding to and what what's been said before is you know this this foundation has been laid you know and and all of these efforts that have come before um and and our past offer for merger um you know i think the community finally looked around and said you know what else could we possibly do this is the only path forward and and i'm i'm relieved that um folks in the legislature recognize that and are recognizing the quality of the document we put forward for them to consider. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's reassuring. And I'm, I'm excited for Friday, if, it, if the vote is on Friday. Um, and um, optimistic. This is a pretty cool day. Yeah, I think the, the respect um, shown, the, the thoroughness of, of the charter change uh, has been seen in every conversation at the state house, I've heard complimentary um, things about how thorough our charter change is, and I know personally how hard staff and trustees work together for that guidance to be true. Like that's a lot of collaborative intelligence and heartfelt dedication to task that made this charter change so thoroughly viable. Like it's right. it's a real confidently clear document because of how much work and effort has gone before and the thought process of the people presently that presented that forward and so we're 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 all just so fortunate to be in this moment in time and so grateful for the base that we have from before and just i i feel so proud to 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 know that i live in a community where people would put this much time and dedication to making sure something is correct and true and, 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 and growth forward. Yeah. I mean, you know, from the get go on this effort, um, on this independence effort, you know, staff, you know, produced a very intentional and participatory process that was inclusive. We had great support from the community, um, you know, largely in the form of our village, our voices to really engage and make sure people were well informed um, and could offer input. And um, I mean, look, we, we've had, we've known for quite some time, I think who we are as a village mm -hmm. and what we wanna be. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's changed. I think no. we just had to look around and say, you know, this is, this is so important to us that we're gonna do it regardless. We're just gonna move forward. And I think, um, I think it's exciting. I think the very heart of what the intentionality was when the village was felt first developed, that desire to have those components of services that we yeah. sought, I think that very heart is exactly what is still true for us today in our intentionality to go forward. I think it's the same, it's that same desire for community and it's, mm -hmm. it's just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Great. We'll see what happens. We'll keep people uh, notified of what's next. Um, waiting to hear from our representatives, Lori and Karen, as to as to what the what the schedule brings. And and um, I understand that you know community members are welcome in the state house if they want to go down 
uh, for the vote. Um, and I encourage people to, uh, if they have the time, if it's Friday, to, to make the trip. Great. That would be fun. What a fun activity. Yep. We should get Thank a bus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Talk to Brad. Maybe a GRP can. Uh... <laughs> thanks for doing this, Annie. Yeah, thank you so much, Raj, and thanks for all you do. And uh, and uh, so we'll look and see. I'll post in the comments below if uh, Friday is the date for the vote or if it's going to be in the future. Thank you so much for today, and thanks for being here, and thanks for all you do. Yeah, thanks. Have a great day. Oh, see you. Thank you.